আমন্ত্রণ আনন্দে আনন্দে ইংলিশ শিক্ষার এই অনুষ্ঠান ইংলিশ ফর ইউতে আর টিভি এবং ভয়েস অফ আমেরিকার যৌথ আয়োজনে ইংলিশ শিক্ষার এই অনুষ্ঠানে সাথে আছি আমি অর্ণবন্ত এই অনুষ্ঠানের মাধ্যমে বাংলাদেশের বিভিন্ন স্কুল পর্যায়ের শিক্ষার্থীদের মাঝে আমেরিকান ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ মানে আমেরিকান ভাষার ব্যবহার ও চর্চা নিয়ে আমরা আলোচনা করব সেই সাথে থাকছে কুইজের মাধ্যমে শিক্ষার্থীদের মেধা যাচের সুযোগ আজকে আমরা এসেছি ঢাকার মোহাম্মদপুরে অবস্থিত মাইলস্টোন স্কুল অ্যান্ড কলেজ এখানে আমরা কিছু শিক্ষার্থীদের সাথে এই ইংরেজি ভাষা নিয়ে চর্চা করব চলুন প্রথমে আমরা দেখে আসি এই স্কুল নিয়ে বানানো এক তথ্যচিত্র মাইলস্টোন কলেজ হ্যাজ এ ক্লিয়ার ভিশন ফর কোয়ালিটি এডুকেশন ইন রিগার্ডস উই অলওয়েজ সাপোর্ট দিস কাইন্ড অফ ইনিশিয়েটিভ দ্যাট আর টিভি অ্যান্ড বয়েজ অফ আমেরিকা হ্যাজ টেকেন ইউ নো দ্যাট দি স্টুডেন্টস অফ মাইলস্টোন আর শোয়িং দেয়ার ট্যালেন্টস in different national and international events and competitions we also have our outstanding achievement in psc jsc ssc and acc board examinations it is notable that milestone is awarded best educational institute by dhaka board in the year 2008 in this year one of our students stood fast in admission test of dhaka university going it this is admission group in milestone we have individual language and debate club to enhance language skill of the student in this modernized world it has no alternative especially for higher education amra ajke chole eschi amader classroom e amra eschi milestone school and college er mohammadpur shakar ei school er ei classroom e amader sathe otithi hisebe achen ei school er shikshok 29 lakh so kemon achho tumra tomader samne ekta boi ache right ha it's a word book from voice of america শুরুতেই আমরা দেখে আসি ভয়েস অফ আমেরিকার ইংরেজি ভাষার উপর নির্মিত একটা ছোট্ট ভিডিও চলো আমরা দেখে আসি আজকের টপিক হচ্ছে ভ্যাকেশন এবং আমরা ভ্যাকেশন নিয়ে ওরা কী দেখাচ্ছে এটা একটু দেখে আসছে I have ever had in my head a beach is much better than here I need a vacation I hear Yana I need a vacation too but not at the beach sand is not good for robots when we compare things we use special forms of adjectives better is a comparative adjective that is used to compare two things best is a superlative adjective it shows that one thing has more of something than all of the others try to find more of these adjectives look for er or est at the end no you can't get your money back i don't care that it was your worst vacation ever hello have a seat welcome to the world's best travel agency thank you and congratulations for what for being the world's best travel agency right thanks trudy hold my calls i'm going to sell our most expensive vacation ha, sure thing boss the mountain getaway is good for you it's a little pricey but think of it you on top of a mountain for seven days i'm a of uh, high places of 
course you are. That's why our deep sea adventure is better for you. It is pricier than the mountain getaway. Just you and the animals of the sea. Shark! 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 No, there are no sharks in your dream vacation. You need the safari campout. It is our priciest vacation, but I think it's the best one for you. During the day, you'll see elephants, giraffes, and lions. At night, you'll sleep out under the stars. Look, I think this was a bad idea. Sure, you can leave, but then you won't see the latest vacation technology. Did you find all of those adjectives? Dan started with good. Then he moved to better. And finally, he said the safari campout was the best vacation for Anna. Exactly what is the latest vacation technology? Exactly. I'm happy you asked. Meet the Travelmax 2000. Wow. So tell me how you like to travel. I like travel that is cozy and romantic, but still exciting. Great. Tell me more. I like traveling in a plane, but not in a helicopter. Planes are a little scary, but helicopters are scarier. My favorite way of traveling is by train. Ships can be the scariest. Have you seen the movie Titanic? Oh, and no horses. I will ride a camel. Oh, and no bike tours. Biking is the slowest and least romantic way to travel. <laughs> Excuse me, but I think the Travel Max 2000 is on fire. Yes, we're both on fire. We really want to sell you the most, exp I mean, the best vacation ever. No, I mean, it's really on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you killed it! You killed the Travel Max 2000! I am so sorry! Oh. Can I help you fix this? No! No! Don't cry! I know what you need! Oh! A vacation! Oh! The no. Safari Campout looks fun! It is the priciest! But I think you deserve it! No! No! Oh. This is the smokiest lesson yet. <laughs> I can't breathe. Just <laughs> go to the website. I'm not the video. The video is the key to show you how to do it. I'm not the video. I'm not the video. Okay, sure. I'm not the video. Did you enjoy the video? Yes. Okay, so first video is the key actual content. Can anyone tell me? Who can tell me? Okay, Ryan, you can tell me. Actually, means the first video actually tells us that uh, how a single woman is actually have different type of choices of different vacations. Actually, she's actually confused about how to perform the different vacations. So she has some examples of like moving to beach or have some fun like in the summertime, but she was still confused. So in, a, in that sense, a fixed robot was telling us that different types of sentences she was pronouncing have different type of comparative ideas about the degrees of adjective. They might be comparative, they might be superlative, or they might the positive. So good, better, based are the three examples which was discussed the first time. That's the overall idea of the first video. Thank you so much, Baba. So uh, who can tell me about the classification of uh, different degrees in that video? Nefertiti, stand up, Baba. Uh, please explain us the classification of different degrees. Miss, the video showed us uh, that the degrees of adjectives can be divided into three types, positive, comparative, and superlative. Examples of all three are good, better, and best. And in the later part of the video, we see another example, scary, scarier, and scariest. Uh, the video showed us this classification in a very entertaining way. It described the vacation plans of a woman and her experience with a travel agency. Okay, thank you so much. আমরা প্রথম ভিডিওতে দেখেছি এবং আমরা কি দেখেছি ওটা নিয়ে আমরা কথা বলছি আমরা এখন আরেকটা ভিডিও দেখব 
যে ভিডিওতে আমরা প্রতিদিনের কনভারসেশনে ভার আই মিন ক্রিয়াপদের যে ব্যবহার সো ওইটা আমরা দেখব হ্যালো আই এম জন রাসেল ইমেজিন ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু টক अबाउट অ্যান অ্যাকশন পারহ্যাপস ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু টক अबाउट সামথিং ইউ উইল ডু ইন দ্য ফিউচার ফর এক্সাম্পল I'll call you I'll call you A simple statement like this can teach you a lot about American English. I'll explain. In American English, we generally stress content words, nouns, adjectives, and verbs. We generally do not stress function words, words like pronouns, modals, determiners, and so on. Stress means to say something louder or more forcefully. So, what is the connection between this information and the statement I'll call you listen carefully I'll call you note that I stress the important content word the verb call it is the main verb in the sentence I don't stress the pronouns I or you and I reduce the helping verb will listen again I'll call you this general idea holds true for all kinds of statements here are some examples I saw her. I saw her. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. In both of these examples, I stressed the main verb. The other words did not get as much stress. The next time you listen to Americans speak, pay careful attention to how they stress verbs. Make careful note of how they do not stress helping or auxiliary verbs. With time and careful study, you will stress words much like americans do that's all for today keep up the good work amra ki dekhlam video te dekhlam kibhabe kichu onek kichu dekhchi right kintu ami na boli odher kache ki shuni ki bolen madam sure acha second video te amra actually kisher upor focus dite dekhechi amake ke khub bhalo kore explain kore dite parbe because amra ei video ta te american accent kothay kibhabe use korte hobe kon verb er upor amra stress dicchi eigulo dekhte pacchi who can tell me that nuha please tell us baba in the second video we learn how american accent is pronounced there we stress more on verbs adjectives and nouns and the pronouns and uh, uh helping verbs and auxiliary verbs are less stressed in those accents that's how we pronounce american accents and it was shown in the video in an entertaining way okay thank you so much thank you so much noha you described it very well amra bodhay arek joner kach theke ekta shune nite pari je she ki bujheche video ta dekhe anaf please tell us in the second video the video discusses about the stress in american english the stress means to say a word louder and in american english mainly three types of parts of speech is mainly applied stressed such as the noun the adjective and the verb and for example i will call you here the verb is call and so i uh, i pronounce the word call louder and this and that's what it explains okay baba thank you so much amra tahole onek kichu dekhlam video te ba tomader kach theke onek kichu shikchi karon tumra khub ভিডিওতে যা দেখাচ্ছে তার চেয়ে বেশি সুন্দর করে তোমরা এক্সপ্লেন করছো বা এলোভেটলি সো তোমাদের কাছ থেকে আজকে আমরা যেমন আমরা বেসিক্যালি যেটা করি সব জায়গায় বা প্রত্যেকটা স্কুলে আমরা ব্রিটিশ অ্যান্ড আমেরিকান ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজের যে বেসিক পার্থক্য বা ওয়ার্ডিংগুলোতে সো আমরা আজকে একটু ডিফারেন্ট ওয়েতে তোমাদের কাছ থেকে শুনবো তাহলে ম্যাডাম আমরা শুরু করি আপনি ওদের সাথে একটু ইন্টারাক্ট করেন যে আমরা বুঝতে পারছো তো প্রোনাউন্সিয়েশনের দিক থেকে আমরা ডিফাইন করব যে কোনটা ব্রিটিশ অ্যান্ড কোনটা আমেরিকান ম্যাডাম যদি কিছু বলতে অ্যাট ফার্স্ট আমরা এখন দেখব যে ব্রিটিশ অ্যাকসেন্টে লাস্টে যদি আমাদের এরকম থাকে যে আওয়ার প্রোনাউন্স করছে আওয়ার ব্রিটিশ অ্যাকসেন্টে সেগুলো আমেরিকানে কিভাবে হবে লাইক ফর এক্সাম্পল সাপোজ কালার লাস্ট সেন্টেন্স লাস্ট অ্যাকসেন্টটা হচ্ছে আওয়ার রাইট ইন ব্রিটিশ language last accent hour but whenever it's american then what will be the pronunciation is call okay so the hour will be turned into or right so 
for example we can also say that flavor flavor so here also our is present then what will be in uh, american accent flavor it's flavor right here also our is turning to or right can anyone tell me another example which is uh, uh, with the uh, our uh, miss amon ekta word holo valor british english e v a l o u r etar spelling ar american english e u ta bad jay v a l o r hoye jay eta ar pronunciation of valor ar american e valor thank okay, you okay so thank you so amra ki aro uh, tumra ar ke bolte paro ki ki word hote pare aro kichu word acha tumi bolo Although there are some difference in pronunciation in British and American, there are also some difference in spelling. In such some, such type of words, maybe offense and defense are also organized. Suppose in case of offense, the spelling in British is O F F E N S E, but in American it is O F F E N C E. But in case of defense, it is as well D E F E N S E in British, but in American D E F E N C E. Not only that, the final word organized if we talk. O R G A N I J D in or British O R G A N I S in American. So this type of spellings differences are I mean observed both in British and American language. Thank you so much. Thank you. You can sit down. Okay, fine. तो मतलब शायद अनेक टॉपिक के आलोचना हुए से एवं योर मोर एक्सपर्ट देन आ सामान मुना है जब तुम लोग अनेक किचु जानो सो एक बार तुम लोग तो मतलब डेली लाइफ फिर बेस किचु टॉपिक के तो मतलब किसे शुन बो निजरा कॉन्वर्सेशन कर बा any topic je kono you can choose any topic just mera uh, amra dujon dujon kore choose korbo conversation e apni amake ektu help korben okay sure uh, then oder english er conversation gulo amra shunbo je topic ne let's start okay so first conversation will be held between rhyme and anaf okay Assalamu alaikum. We have met after a long time, haven't we? Waalaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Yeah, we have met after a long time. Actually, I went to my hometown and there is very bad network connection. And also, we cannot talk to you. Not a problem. By the way, where are you going? I'm just heading towards the market. Yesterday, I went to the market. You wouldn't believe me. The price of every and each item is high. Oh, we are completely hopeless in this regard. I think price hike is one of the factor behind it. Price hike? What's it? Oh, you didn't know about it. Actually, price hike is the sudden increase of the daily commodities behind the imagination of general people. Yes, and we also should play a vital role. What do you think? Yes, I think this is an incomplete international issue, as the whole worldwide they are facing this type of same problem. So the people, the mass people, should create a ma Greek awareness, and the government officials should take a strict rules and prohibitions to ban the dishonest businessmen who are selling the goods in high prices. Yes, you are right. Thanks for your kind advice, and sorry if I wasted your time. No, you didn't waste my time. My pleasure. I have given you some information. Thanks. Okay. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Bye. Please. Thank you. Next. Oh, so, second conversation will be held between Sneha Chakraborty and Sharmishtha Momo. Let's start. Hey, you seem so excited. What's the reason behind your excitement? Yes, I am so. And the reason behind my excitement is the upcoming summer vacation. Oh, you're right. So, what are your plans for the upcoming summer vacation? Well, we have planned to visit the Cox's Bazaar Sea Beach, which is one of the longest sea beach in the world, with 23.4 square kilometers of land area. Wow, that's so great! Tell me more about it. Our plan is to go to the Himchori Beach, Inani Beach, and from there we will head to Teknaf to see the beautiful beaches, hilly areas, and the natural forests. Wow, your plan seems so perfect. So it was glad to talk to you. And see you soon. Yes, hope you have a nice trip. Same Thank to you. you. Thank you. Please. Thank you. Okay, next pair between Akib, S M Nahian, and Sadman. Okay, start. Hello, Tahmid. Hi, Nahian. How is it going? It's going well. What about you? I am also fine. Have you seen the best images of the space given by NASA? Yes, I have seen it. This images was captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. Which was launched on 25 December 2021. I think this telescope will start a new era of astronomy. What do you think? I also think so. This high-quality image will increase our curiosity to know more, to more, know more about the universe. Do you know the reason behind these high-quality images? No, I don't. 
The main reason behind these high quality images is the infrared camera and the 18 hexagonal mirrors around it. Wow, that's great. Do you know another fun fact is this mirror is covered with gold. What is the reason behind using the gold? The gold is used because it reflects the infrared ray the most. Wow, I have heard that this telescope costed almost 10 billion US dollars. Yes, you are right, because it is three times bigger than the Hubble telescope and it is more advanced than that. From where did you got the, all this information? I got all this information from Anna Cinefix. You can visit them. Okay, I will. Uh, nice to talk with you. Me too. Thank you, Baba. Thank you. So, next conversation between Jaidul Hussain Alif and Yana Ryan Ferdos. Hey Alif, yesterday I heard about Bangladesh's largest project yet, which costed 3.2 billion US dollars. Yes, I have also heard about this project. It is amazing considering that only 50 years ago we were fighting for our independence and today we are able to fund such a large project through our own money. That's true. Can you tell me more about this project? Yes, of course. The project that you are referring to is the Padma Bridge, which is located above the Padma River. It will connect the southwestern part of our nation with the northern and eastern region. That's great. Can you tell me more details about the bridge? The bridge is today the largest bridge of our nation. It is at the length of 6.15 and at a height of 18.18 meter. It can take a load of about 10,000 ton and this bridge is of four lane and it can run trains and cars at the same time. That's great, uh, amazing. So this will help the uh, country's economy to improve. Yes, the future is for those who believe in their dream and the dream of many Bengalis will be fulfilled through the construction of this bridge. Thank you for telling me about this. Thank you, bye. Okay, next come to the fair. Prokriti and Rifa, stand up, Baba. Hey, Rifa, meeting you after a long time. Hey, Prokriti, so how have you been? I have been great. How was your Eid vacation? It was great. I enjoyed my Eid with my family and we went to Panchagor. How about you? Oh, I am really glad that you asked. I have been reading a book series called Misir Ali. Is it a book by Humayun Ahmed, sir? Yes, it is. I have been completely amazed with the whole series. Wow, what kind of series was that? It was a psychological, mysterious thriller kind of book. The way Humayun Ahmed holds the climax is just insane. Interesting. I think I may start to read it. Of course you should. Wow, Prakriti, I just can't wait to start it. Thank you. Thank you, Baba. Thank you. And the last one between Adiba and Ariba. Stand up. Hey, Ariba. What's your favorite movie genre? I'm glad that you asked. I like fantasy movies. Do you like movies too? No, I don't really watch it. I hate movies. That blows. Movies make me float on cloud nine. I recently watched a very fascinating movie. Wanna hear about that? Of course, I'd love to. So name of the movie is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and the main character of the movie is Willy Onka. So Willy Onka, the eccentric owner of the greatest factory in the world, decides to open up the doors of his chocolate factory to five lucky children and their parents. That's great. It's uh, really nice to hear your story. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Today we have English for you. এখানে শেষ করছি দেখা হচ্ছে নতুন এক স্কুলে নতুন এক ক্লাসরুমে সেই পর্যন্ত ভালো থাকবেন